Hi, I'm Mark Madursky with the National Motorcycle Museum, Anamosa, Iowa. Many of you have been to the museum. It's been around about 15 years in downtown Anamosa. But uh, recently we've run out of room and we've decided to build a brand new museum. Much larger, much better, more interpretive. So that's what's before me here is a scale model of the new museum on the outskirts of Anamosa. And it'll house all the 250 machines that are at the current museum, but tell a lot more and broader stories than the uh, current museum. The museum in downtown Anamosa is about 16,000 square feet, and the new one is 36,000 square feet. So we're not only going to have a lot more display space, but we'll have opportunities for a banquet facility, offices and storage, a library, uh, a, a nice entry area where groups can gather when they arrive on motorcycle or a bus. I can give you a, a quick tour through the museum. We come in the front doors over here and enter the lobby area. We've got restrooms and coat rooms, of course, down here. Our gift shop over to uh, your right, pardon me, your left. And uh, you buy your tickets and enter. And one of the most high impact and important motorcycles in the National Motorcycle Museum collection are the two machines from the, the motion picture Easy Riders. We've got a replica of the Billy Bike and the original Captain America machine. So they're going to be front and center as you enter the exhibition space. We'll talk about other celebrity machines like Steve McQueen's uh, Indian Chopper. And then we'll go into some of the customs and specials and move into a large area that covers the Harley Davidson collection that's uh, in the museum now. It's uh, numbers around 50 machines from 1908, a strap tank machine from 1908, all the way up into the 1980s. As you tour around, we'll have a replica of a, an early Harley-Davidson dealership. Actually, it's the oldest continuously operating dealership in America, 80 Faroes in Columbus, Ohio. And then you'll tour into an area that has the prime machines in the collection. We call it the best of the best. And these are some of the original condition and restored motorcycles, probably primarily pre-World War II. But we've got Yales and Popes and Thors and Harleys and Indians. Uh, street machines and competition machines that are just excellent. And those will be writ lit very spectacularly. They'll have a lot of space around them. We'll move into an area where we talk about how military motorcycles played a role. And this is the board track display. A lot of people have got a great fascination with board track, including me. We'll have a nice replica of the board track and about eight board track machines, original and restored. Then the museum takes on kind of a chronological approach where we start with the machines uh, late 19th century and move up to present. We'll talk about the technology that's used in the machines early on. You may know that very few machines had very much suspension at all uh, around 1900 to 1910. As time went on, suspension increased and we also saw changes in apparel. We've got very high-tech helmets now. Some of the early riders wore uh, leather helmets, had no real crush protection. So we'll move through this area with uh, a nice chronology of technology. We've got a wonderful replica of a 20s gas station, a modular steel gas station. And we'll reconstruct that in this area. And this, you can guess, is uh, a representation of hill climb. And we'll build that to look like real dirt. We'll have probably seven or eight nice hill climb machines around that area. And the competition machines will be through here, motocross, off-road, and all the way up through uh, land speed record and drag race in this section. And one of the important things about this collection, one of the unique things about this collection, the, the excitement that is generated by the, the graphics in this, in this museum's collection are unsurpassed. I don't think there's any motorcycle museum in America that has the number of photographs, uh, posters, prints, original paintings that the National Motorcycle Museum has. And all these white walls that you see in here are going to be literally covered with graphics. Uh, probably approximately 1,000 individual pieces of graphics will be distributed through here. And they'll all be related to the machines that are on display. 
One of the exciting things for me is that this is going to be a, a restoration shop back here. We'll be able to prep machines that come in on loan or uh, new machines in a collection, tidy them up a little bit and push them right out on the floor. It'll have big doors in it. On the outside, it's going to look like probably a 1900 structure, frame, maybe board and batten. But on the inside, it's going to be all slick and white and very well lit state-of-the-art kind of a shop with lifts and everything so that the craftsmen can work in there well. This is a banquet facility, about 4,000 square feet. We can probably put 150 to 200 people in there and we'll invite anyone from uh, you know local Iowa organizations to host uh, parties in there or, or meetings. Um, this zone down in here is a uh, changing gallery where we can bring in uh, exhibitions from other organizations or create temporary exhibitions with machines, not from the collection of the museum, but from other collectors around the United States and tell special stories. And those might only be up for six months or a year, and they'll change. And with that, we'll give people reason to continue to come back to the museum over time. And I also add that this is a work in progress. It may be a few years before, when you make a trip here, that things kind of settle down. We're gonna continue to develop exhibits and fixtures uh, there's going to be, you know, further advances on the military story, on an early motorcycle shop, and these things will continue to evolve. We'll be adding art all the time, uh, probably video presentations, interpretation uh, will continue to be added. So there'll be reason to come back and, and visit us again. So we hope that uh, you'll come and see the National Motorcycle Museum. We will have an open house in uh, June. I think it's the 26th and 27th of June, a Saturday and Sunday. So mark your calendars for that. And uh, the museum will probably be open in the autumn of uh, 2010. Again, it'll be a work in progress. Not every exhibition will be finished up. And we think by uh, spring of 2011, we'll have a, a very tight, complete show for you. And uh, make sure you go to our website. You can watch progress there and on Facebook. Uh, www.nationalmcmuseum.org is the website. So the museum in Anamosa downtown will continue to be open. As I say, we'll, we'll phase into the new facility uh, over twice the size and hope you come and see us. Thanks a lot.